Hi guys, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this set of gouache paints from Chocola. Now Chocola did send these to me for review and to try out with you guys. They also sent me an acrylic set, but I did a poll over on my community tab asking which set you would be more interested in seeing a full long form video on. And overwhelmingly the gouache paint set won out. I think maybe it's over 75%, maybe even more so at this point, asked to see this gouache paint set. This was the one I was most interested in checking out, especially since I've never tried gouache paints myself. I am looking forward to doing this video with you guys. So we're gonna open it up. It does say 36 colors, but it actually has less than 36 colors. There's 36 paints, but there's two zinc whites and two titanium whites. So technically there's 34 colors in here. So we're gonna open up the box. Um, so this is actually, um, it says a paint set, but it's really like a paint kit. It's almost like geared towards uh, kids or beginners. It's supposed to have everything you would need to get started painting if you don't, if you've never done it before or um, you're just starting out and you don't really have all the tools already necessary for painting. So let's see what's inside. It comes with this sponge, a palette knife, all these brushes. I think it's 10. Is that what they say? Let's look at the box. Yeah, 10 brushes, so 10 different brushes. Um, they look like pretty good brushes. Um, we'll see when we open it up. It also comes with this palette for mixing up your colors. And oh, this is interesting. Um, I was just planning on swatching out a couple of colors. I wasn't really planning on going through and swatching the whole set, but this is a really nice um, watercolor swatch sheet. I don't think the acrylic set I opened up didn't have this. It doesn't look like it has enough squares though for the amount of paints that are in here. So oh, you know what? This says acrylic metallic paints. That's in a whole nother set. Uh, so I think this was a mistake that they put this in this set because they do have another set that's just all metallics um, in the same listing. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. I was excited to have a swatch sheet for this set. Um, yeah, so I don't know if we can use it now. Well, maybe, maybe we'll use it. Maybe we just, we'll just um, cross out the color names underneath just to have something to swatch it on. And I don't think there's 34 spaces in here. It doesn't look like. Oh, oh well, that's a mistake on their part. Um, let's see. I did see some reviews under the Amazon listing where it showed that people got duplicate colors in their sets. Aside from the ones that are actually supposed to be duplicated, the titanium white and the zinc white. So that's what kind of what I wanted to check out and make sure that that didn't happen to this set. But it looks, that's, let's see on this tray here. Um, so it looks good to me. So it looks like no duplicates aside from the whites, which are meant to be duplicated. I do like that they give you duplicates of those two whites because that's probably the color you would most use for mixing. All right, guys. So that last part of the video might have ended a little bit abruptly. I had to go to work, so I had to stop filming. It's another day. Um, it's a brand new day. So we're gonna try and finish up this video. And I don't think I'm gonna swatch every single color just because these are pretty basic colors. I wanna try and use all of the things that are in the kit. So I opened up the paint brushes and um, let's see what paint brush are we gonna use. They feel pretty nice, pretty good for budget, a budget set of paint brushes. Um, which one are we gonna use? Maybe I'll use that one. Just and all right so let's get started let's pick out a color these do have pigment info on the tubes i'm not sure if that means that there's actual pigments in there or if they're just representative of what color is in there 
Um, they also, like maybe, is, I don't know if it's a dye or actual pigments. Um, they don't really say. But there is light fast readings on them too. Which, if you know me, you know kind of know how I feel about budget sets and light fast info. So I'm not going to get into that sort of thing for this video but there's also some metallics in here which i'm really interested in checking those out there's a gold rose gold silver bronze pearl white they don't seem to be in any particular type of order in the box but let's see what color do we want to test out i'm going to test out i want to test out one color that just has one pigment or one color represented on the chip maybe let's do, do we want to do this Prussian blue? That's only one color. Or how about this mid yellow? We'll start off with this Prussian blue and see if we want to try anything else as we go along with the video. All right, so let's start off with the Prussian blue. Blue is my favorite color this month at least. <laughs> so let's get started. So we're going to open this up. These tubes are 12 milliliters, and then that translates to 0.41 fluid ounces. So these are a little bit small, these tubes. I guess gouache is more um, expensive than just regular straight acrylic paint. From what I understand, gouache is supposed to be a, a mix between a watercolor and acrylic, or it's considered a, an opaque more opaque watercolor. Like I might need a little bit more practice mixing up my colors, but not too bad. Um, you can make other colors or different shades or tints or tones with these. You don't really have to because they're they have most of the colors. They have the primary colors and then some in between colors in there in the set already. Let's see, I want to try. There's these are all the metallics in the set, so I want to try those out. I do love metallic paints, which is odd because I. Don't really like metallic pencils but metallic paints i'm all about metallic paints any kind of metallic paints i can get my hands on i love it um so i'm gonna try let's just try those out and see how those look i did just wash these brushes they did kind of stain the bristles a little bit but um still not they're still they still held up pretty well i think um okay so let's do the rose gold first. Let's see if they really look metallic. Oops. A little bit more orangey ish. Looks like a metallic orange more so than a rose gold to me. But. Let's try it. So what with the page? I think it looks a little bit more rose goldish when you dilute it a little bit. What do we do next? How about just regular gold? Okay, so what do we think? I like them. I think I like them better than acrylic paints, but I don't like them as much as watercolor paints. I do want to try them out 
painting something. So I think I'm gonna try and paint a picture, maybe like a sunset or something easy like that. And I'll try that out and we'll come back and see how I do. And I'll give you some final thoughts. All right, you guys. So I had some time to try out these paints on a painting. I did watch some YouTube videos to get kind of get the idea of what to do because I haven't done any painting like this. Well, actually, no, that's not true. I think maybe like the seventh or eighth grade, I went on a field trip to this Bob Ross type of art studio where they tell you like step by step. I think it was, I don't know if it was acrylic painting or oil painting, I don't remember. But that was probably the last time I ever did any kind of painting, like freehand kind of painting. Yeah, so that was like 30 years ago. So I'll show you what I came up with. Um, I did watch some like easy beginner videos and I did, make a kind of a mistake with this moon. I made it too big. I was trying to make like a crescent moon and I messed it up and then I just kept going, you know, trying to fix it a little bit and a little bit. And eventually it just turned out too big. And I made, I, then I tried to make it a full moon. So, but other than that, I am happy with how it came out. And I'll show you all the colors I use. I use some of the acrylic paints they gave me from the other set. I use this flesh and a titanium white acrylic. Um, I use this flesh because it was like a pink color and this squash that didn't really have a pink in, in the kit. So this was like the closest one, but I did use that one together and they did, they seemed to find working together. I use a toothbrush to flick some white paint to make it look like stars. I taped it down with masking tape and I shouldn't have done that either because it was too sticky and when I took off the tape, it ripped it. So next time I'll try probably washi tape. It's not as sticky. And yeah, so I had a good time trying these paints out. Um, I will say I did have one little bad thing to say about some of the paints I had tried to use this the zinc white in here and it's all dried up in, in the tube so oh yeah it's like really dried up in the tube I don't know if I don't know and then I said oh let me check out this other one maybe this one's better and this one's like really dried up in there too I don't know, is it supposed to be like that? I don't know. It's, I don't think so. <laughs> but yeah, so that was kind of a bummer too. But everything else worked out good. I was thinking, because you see how big these acrylic paints are? And these tubes are much bigger. These are 22 milliliters. And you can see in comparison to these little gouache ones. Like I said, I guess gouache paint is more expensive than just acrylic paint. Um, I think this is currently around $25, this set. So I will leave the link in the description if you're interested in checking it out. I'm happy with it, even though there were a few bumps in the road. <laughs> I think it's a good set to try if you're new to painting. You don't want to spend a lot of money on paints if you don't know if you're going to like this hobby or not. And, or if you have kids, it's fun to try it for them to try out and start learning how to paint as well. I really like that. It's kind of like a easier level of acrylic paints. I like that you could go back and add some water and you can fix your mistakes a little bit more easy. And then it's still opaque enough that you could cover stuff up if you don't like how something came out. I like them. I really liked how the sunset worked out with them and they did mix well with um, just the regular street acrylic paints too. I do have to practice my little moon drawings of course and I just did little flicking motions for grass here and I would like to be able to do a little bit more complex things in the future so we'll see what happens. So I do hope you guys all have a really great day. Happy coloring and painting and I'll see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.